Okay, so it's time to have a little bit of fun with this and see what we can do. Uh, I guess you guys are probably familiar with this now. You've played with it a little bit, made it say whatever you want to say. And uh, maybe some of you have discovered you can't make it say everything you want to say. It runs into occasional problems. For example, let's say I want to actually put, I want to actually have it display the quote. So I want to have quote, hello world, quote, okay? So you'd think, well, I'll just go ahead and put a quote, another quote there and another quote there. And it should, in, in theory, just print out hello world in quotes. But you might already have an idea that something's wrong because this has changed color to black. It's no longer that blue, which means it doesn't understand what the heck is going on. And in fact, we get an error. So what we have to do is we have to come up with a way of telling the compiler, I actually want to print this quote. Okay, And we're going to do that with something called an escape sequence. And in this compiler, it's going to be this slash here, right? Okay, the, the forward slash. And what we want to do is we want to put it right in front of the character that we want to print. So I'm going to put it here and here. And that's forcing the compiler to say, oh, actually, I want to display that as a character. And it's going to then convert it into such. And we're going to end up with hello world in quotes. Okay, And we can use this switch, or this escape, for a number of different things. Um, Let's say, for example, I want to tab it over, all right? Well, I can't just put tab in here. I have to use the switch, I'm sorry, the escape, and then T, and that's going to tell it, okay, I actually want to place a tab in this position. And you're going to see now when it compiles and loads that hello world is going to start way over here because it's going to tab it over one whole position. And there we go go it's moved over it will in a second that one took a long time there we go okay now let's do something else um, I think in the last video or maybe two videos ago I talked about uh, LN as a uh, indicator to print a new line at the end of this and I alluded there was other ways to do it well here's one you can do right here I can use the uh, escape N for new line, and lo and behold, what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and print the statement, but it's going to precede it with a new line. So we're going to put a new line and then print, and then we're going to put another new line at the end. Okay, So we're going to end up having a space between each of these new hello worlds that comes up, and you're going to see that there. So let's say I actually want to print the slash. Well, you can probably guessed it. Um, let me put it, let's see, let's put it right here. After the tab, it's going to be escape slash. And that is going to allow us to print the uh, slash. Now, Chris has an awesome example in his textbook uh, that covers all of these different things. But this is basically what I want to show you to be able to do this next sort of step and challenge. So uh, let's have a little fun. Let's open up, I guess some of you guys have probably seen, you know, emails, characters, or people have put pictures or images uh, in text. And that's ASCII art is what that's called. So people have made some amazing things just using letters and numbers and printing them out to make these cool images. Um, <clears throat> I did here is I just uh, searched ASCII art in Google, came up with this. There's lots and lots of sites, lots and lots of things. Uh, the one that Chris references in his book is right here. It has a lot of cool ones. Um, I actually want to find something super fast and simple. I'm going to use... Nope, I'm not going to use that one. I'm so sorry. Go back. I want to use this one. It's got some collections that are easy to access, and some of them are very small, and I can do it quickly. And I'm going to look in animals. And I'm going to choose a frog because uh, I looked at it and it was pretty straightforward. There's lots of different frogs. This little guy right here looks like he's going to be fast and easy. So I'm going to copy it. Now you don't have to do this next step because I actually want to have it on the screen. I'm going to put it in Notepad. You do not have to do this. Okay? I just want to make it so I can minimize this. And we still have our frog that I'll be able to copy from and paste into this code right here. Um, I'm actually going to save as right now because we're going to manipulate this. And I'm going to call it frog. 
Okay. And I'm going to copy this. Control C. I'm just going to paste it right here real quickly. Now this is not going to work. Uh, I have to at least put this command in front of it. So I'm going to copy serial print open quote or open uh, parentheses quote. Copy that. And I need to put that in the very first line in front of all of these uniformly. So I'm going to go to home. Okay, I'm going to make sure I'm on the farthest left I can go. I don't know how you do this on a Mac, but on a PC it's just home. And that is keeping everything nice and uniform as I convert this over. Okay, and now I'm going to copy the semicolon, the parentheses, and the close quote. And I'm just going to put it at the end of all of these. Okay, and already you can probably see there's uh, potential for some errors because notice that this is shifted to a kind of a, a blue, I'll, I'll verify, um, and this is still black. It, it doesn't understand what's going on, and that is because, look, right there, there's that escape sequence. And I said if you want to print an escape, I need to put the slash in front of it. So we have to find every circumstance where that line needs to be printed. And he's going to make our frog look a little funny here, but it's going to look fine when we're done. So there's going to be one there, one there, one there, and one there. Okay? So now let's, actually I'm going to take this and delete it for the moment. Let's print it. And hopefully we end up with a frog. Let's take a look. I can get rid of this. And there we go. We've got our frog printing every second. So I would like you to do this yourself. Find something that appeals to you. Take an image, copy it, convert it, and have your Arduino printed out. Um, I'm going to next then show you how to combine a couple of different pieces of code, and I'm going to give you your module and challenge that I will be assessing. So I will see you again soon.